Right, folks, welcome on in. Welcome to Sonic P Knuckles. Of course, we're continuing our Sonic, uh, our Knuckles playthrough song. Um, and uh, we're off to the uh, next level, find that to it. Now, the Act 2 boss of this had a, a bit of a, a graphical glitch where it showed Robotnik's face, even when playing as Knuckles. And uh, I, I think it's just because it is a unique uh, Robotnik sprite. Uh, so I don't think they have either the time or ability to, to replace it with the Robo Sprite. Uh, but they've corrected it in Sonic V Angel Island Revisited, which I think is a, a pretty nice touch. Uh, and it just sort of like, uh, you know, uh, fades away from any potential confusion. Again, one thing I do like about uh, Sonic and Knuckles is it's sort of its storytelling. Uh, that he does sort of pull through um, throughout, um, especially in the Sonic playthrough. Uh, and even just the visual stuff that it has with Knuckles. Um, uh, like, for example, the Angel Island zone not being uh, in, in the water, that sort of stuff. I think it is pretty neat attention to detail. So, uh, again, it's sort of, uh, <laughs> it does satisfy me that we did actually fix the, uh, the boss by in, in this. And of course, uh, I think it's always worthwhile getting a few extra lives when we can. Um, the Flying Factory Zone, I think, is exactly the same as, uh, Knuckles as it is with Sonic. Um, I think we'll maybe try going a, a different route um, than we did. Uh, just to uh, again spice things up slightly. Uh, again, obviously not too spicy, but uh, uh, at least it means that you're not having to watch it the same thing over and over again. Ooh. I guess it makes sense that Knuckles doesn't know the different routes in this because this is actually uh, robotic shit whereas uh, Knuckles will be familiar with the Angel Island right so no, maybe that is intentional too. Oh, if there are any Knuckles only portions of Flying Battery Zone that maybe I've missed out on, feel free to let me know. Uh, I feel like Sonic 3 Knuckles is one of those games where you can constantly learn new things about it um, over the years. Uh, certainly. Uh, so, you know, maybe, maybe I've missed out on something. Regardless, yeah, add to it. It's, yeah, this is a, a nice remix of the uh, actual theme. I think it's nice how they do uh, um, how they do uh, remix the music between uh, each act. Uh, it's something that they carried on in Sonic Mania as well. Uh, I, I think... Uh, I don't think we went right last time, did we? So, let's bring it this time. Uh, yeah, I, I think... My next playthrough on, on YouTube will be Sonic CD. Uh, and then we'll probably go and do Sonic Mania at some point, certainly. Uh, Again, I'm not quite sure how I'd, I'd handle Sonic Mania because uh, I, I don't think I'd do a full separate Knuckles Zone, but I think I might show off Green Hill Zone and uh, Mirage Saloon Zone as Knuckles and then maybe do a separate Uncore mode run, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like that could be pretty fun. Yeah, but with the uh, encore mode, actually, that's 
uh, the special stage is on Uncall mode, I probably won't try and least familiar with, uh, so you might actually see me fail, uh, so, uh, oh, you'll, you'll certainly see me fail a couple in, in uh, Sonic CD. Um, again, with Sonic CD, I might try and, uh, certainly get over time stones and then maybe uh, do a run through where I just go breaking all the uh, Metal Sonic uh, and uh, you know, Metal Sonic holograms and grabbing all the, uh, oh, uh, the roboticizers. I think that could be a, a nice uh, way to play through Sonic CD. So. Uh, and it'll also give me the opportunity to show off both of the soundtracks as well. Uh, personally, I prefer the Japanese soundtrack, uh, which is the one that we've got in Europe as well. Uh, but again, there are some tracks in, in the US soundtrack that I really adored as well. And uh, honestly, I think they're both great. Um, uh, it's not like one that I prefer, uh, well, I mean, I prefer the Japanese soundtrack, but, you know, it's not like there's one that I, I dislike or anything like that. Anyway, get this little laser boss up again. Yeah, still fairly straightforward, nothing too much to worry about. You finally get a, a close up look of our, our robot then. At first I thought it was uh, like Robotnik, like as a kid I used to think it was Robotnik just wearing a mask. Because <laughs> I thought, uh, maybe he, he's trying to uh, trick Knuckles still, so he's trying to disguise himself. Um, I don't know, that's just what I thought at least. Part maybe during this boss actually uh, let his mask slip. <laughs> he might have dropped it with him, but no. Uh, the, the Knuckles story does uh, does take place after the uh, Sonic story. Now this one is more difficult because it moves swifter and it's constantly using its flame. Um, it doesn't pop up quite as often either. But uh, again, with some smooth timing, it's not too tough. There we go. So now, it's a little bit. Alright, um, so that's the end of Flying Baptism. Again, uh, showed up a, a couple of different routes. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys next in Sandopolis soon. But uh, until then, until then, so uh, yeah, see you next time, take care.